Hi, I'm Starhawk. I'm one of the lead teachers for Earth Activist Training. And my name is Charles, and I'm also teaching with Earth Activist Training. Earth Activist Training is a permaculture design course uh, that has a grounding in spirit and a focus on organizing and activism. It's not just about ecology and farming, but it's about how do you move, have social movements that take into consideration the large power structures. There's a standard 72-hour curriculum that globally is recognized as the basic permaculture curriculum. We cover that. We issue a permaculture design certificate. That includes everything from things like soil building and composting and understanding water cycles and water harvesting and roof catchment to alternative energy. Uh, it's really a great curriculum for looking at the whole field of sustainability and resilience and transformation. There's many ways I think our course is different than other people's course, but some of the ways that I think are really profound are that the way in which we carry spirit into all the parts of what we do in the course. Well, you know, I come out, out of teaching goddess stuff and ritual and magic and spiritual work for decades, and for me that always was grounded in earth-based spirituality. It was all about believing the earth is sacred, that we are all part of the sacred being. When I started to learn about permaculture, I realized, oh, this is the practical end of it. You know, this is the how-to part. You know, we can sing about, you know, changing the world and healing the earth, but I can actually now like take you out into a garden and teach you some skills and you can actually take a piece of damaged toxic ground and turn it into a beautiful life-giving system. My joy comes out of my background of uh, wilderness work and working in the, the far wilderness places and realizing that to preserve the wild places we have to learn how to live in better relationship in our social atmosphere. Uh, so we try to give people a lot of tools for how do we actually create groups, how do we resolve conflict, how do we communicate with each other. Uh, we give people tools for political organizing, because permaculture really offers solutions to things like climate change and tools for sequestering carbon, taking it out of the atmosphere. All of that is great and it's inspiring. Uh, but how do we get them put into place? You know, how do we contest these larger power structures that are around us? And the permaculture is not just about gardening, it's about any human system. And the culture that we build around it is as much a part of it as any other aspect of it. 